All right, heading in for an afternoon sit this Thursday. Um, been having pretty rough luck these past few days. Hopefully that changes today. I'm going to an entirely different area. Um, area that I'm going to go hunt. Usually gets hit pretty hard on the weekend and opening day. But uh, figured, you know what? Every time we scout that area, there's always a lot of deer. We always get good bucks on camera. We didn't scout it this year. But uh, I'm gonna go to some spots that are potentially easily overlooked. Take it real easy and uh, if there's a sign there, I'm gonna sit it. Let's see what happens. It's a weekday, so hopefully uh, it's not super crowded out there. We shall see. Dude, that is a big deer. And he didn't even go 30 yards. Oh my God. <laughs> that was the first buck I've ever shot. Woo, what a rush. Money, that deer is dead. Tagged out, baby. <laughs> you shot one? Yeah. Hell yeah, dude. I saw him go what? down. Pretty promising. There's these buck tracks right here. And uh, it looks like this buck has been coming back and forth through this spot. I think this is the way that he's accessing this oak head. Hopefully, uh, hopefully I can get an opportunity to have him if he decides to use it today. All right, so I'm set up for the afternoon. It's about five o'clock. We just scouted our butts off and uh, hopefully it pays off. So there's an oak head nearby. We were planning on hunting an oak head, but there's more tree stands and leaners in there than Bass Pro Shop. Everybody's piled up in that oak head. For good reason, there's a lot of rubs and there's a lot of scrapes in there. But those deer aren't in there during the day, I'm sure. I think they're doing that at night. Um, so we ended up going around and trying to figure out how these deer are accessing the oak head and I think I found one of the spots the only thing is I don't know if this is how they're getting in or out there are tracks coming both in both directions so hopefully uh, they decide to use this one today
What's up YouTube? It's Mark again and welcome back to Swamp and Stomp. I don't even know how many times I've said that in the past week. But today I got a good feeling. Um, Danny just missed a buck last night, a really nice eight point. And uh, he's found an area that seems to have a lot of buck sign. We've been really struggling to find the deer because it's been such a dry year. Uh, but it seems that him and Alex found an area, so we're all piling into this general area to see if we can take down a buck together. I'm set up out here. I, I don't really know where I am, but I just picked a spot on the map that was sort of, sort of close to where Danny shot his buck, or shot at his buck. There's a big bedding area back behind me here. Um, it's just thick like swamp apple so I got a feeling they're bedded down in there I'm kind of hoping that they come out of the bedding area and work their way through this pinch point right here I've got like a crisscrossing of like five different intersection or five different trails there's supposedly a couple scrapes down this way so and I think I see a scrape about 20 yards away from me so if they come from the east or from the north they are in trouble if they come from the southwest, I'm screwed. But um, I can see a long ways out here. Got a great breeze. The sun's about to be behind the trees, so it's gonna be a real comfortable sit. I'm excited. Let's hope something comes cruising through. guys so I, I didn't want to explain what just happened while I was in the tree because I, I still had a feeling I had a deer close by but so that doe that came in she was getting chased by a buck and uh, I didn't get any footage of the buck um, because I only saw him for like a split second and then by the time I wanted to turn the camera he was already behind this oak tree that was over to my right and he stood there for a while trying to figure out which way the doe went she had stood there for for a second as well and finally he started walking but he walked the other way so i had a feeling he would eventually figure out that the doe's scent was no longer over there and come back um but it was getting dark so i quietly got down and i got out of there and on my way out i did see a deer that was looking at me and it didn't blow or anything it just kind of turned around and walked the other way um, so I'm hoping I didn't spook it out of there. It might have been the buck. I'm going to be back in there first thing in the morning. Hopefully uh, get a chance at him. I couldn't really tell what kind of buck it was, but it was a buck. Uh, and I think it probably was a legal buck. So hopefully we find out. Today, well, this weekend is the first weekend uh, that I, since I've been back from Colorado on our elk hunt. And don't worry, 
We've got plenty of footage from that uh, experience that we're going to share with you guys. But um, today is the first time I'm going to get to hunt since being back. We just had uh, Hurricane Ian come through. Now, luckily, we're on the East Coast. Um, the West Coast got decimated by that storm. It's really bad. I went over there on uh, Thursday to go help some friends of mine uh, whose houses got destroyed. Uh, it was pretty sad to see all the damage that was done. But uh, over on this coast, all we really got was a crap ton of rain. Um, in fact, the whole state got a lot of rain. This was a, an absolutely colossal storm. It was huge. So um, this weekend, we tried to go out to one of our favorite places to hunt. It's a, it's a long ways out to where we like to hunt. It's a couple miles. Um, normally, we're able to drive, but we were expecting there to be a lot of water. Um, so we had the idea that we would uh, be able to take our bikes. In some of the areas where there was a lot of water, we might have to carry the bikes. Had the intention of doing that and we got out of the truck and I don't even think we made it 50 yards um, and we were waist deep our bikes were completely underwater and we decided it wasn't worth it so um, I had things to do that day it was gonna be a short sit anyway so I left um, so today is the first time I'm gonna go hunt I'm gonna I'm going to a slightly different area Hopefully I'll be able to get in uh, through the water. I didn't bring my bike this time. I'm not going to go terribly far from the road. Um, so I'm just going to walk through the water and get set up. So I think um, it'll be all right. I've had, uh, I have a cell camera out there. I've had deer moving around. There's some pretty, there's a really big buck out there. I haven't seen him in a couple weeks, uh, pretty much since season started. I don't know if that means he's dead uh, or if he's just gone into hiding. Uh, this is a really old buck, so I got a feeling that he's probably used to uh, avoiding hunters. Um, but there's another buck in there. Uh, it's a little bit younger, but a, a nice six point. Uh, and there's also a good tall seven point that I've been seeing. Um, it's archery season, so I'm gonna be uh, I'm gonna be able to shoot a doe if they come through and. We don't really have meat in the freezer right now other than the hog that I shot, so I'll be taking anything that is legal today. So, see you guys out there. Hopefully we can make something happen today.
of like camera light. There's still a little bit of time for shooting light, but I, I was about to pack up and I just put up my hair, my hand, and I just started listening. And I was like, I swear I hear water moving. I turned on the camera and seconds later I saw him step out. I could still hear him. He was quartered away really hard. And he came in downwind. He definitely smelled me, but... He was quartered away really hard. I, I don't know about the hit. I gotta watch the footage, but I feel like... Uh, I probably caught one long if, if it went where I think it went. So, but I, I think I, I think he's down. He doesn't sound like he's more than like 80 yards away, so I'm gonna give it a little bit of time and review the footage. Holy crap. Little bit of blood I found right here. Looks like it's bright red. Could be long blood, but it's hard to tell if there's any bubbles in it. Well, here's my arrow, but it's all the way in the water, so. Really do much with that. There's some blood right there. More blood right there. I don't know. I really wish I could see some bubbles. Got more blood there. Oh God. I'm starting to think this was not a good hit. Alright, so I just tracked for a little while and I ended up finding the front half of my arrow, which leads me to believe that it poked out the other side. It's like the front two thirds of my arrow. So I think it passed most of the way through and the fletchings are stuck somewhere inside of them. But the blood trail is not great. It doesn't look like lung blood to me. It's like little specks of blood. <clears throat> so. I don't know what to think of it right now. I really feel like he's laying dead over there somewhere. It looked like a good hit, but... I just talked to John and Robbie about it, and they agree. They think it's probably a dead buck, but... I don't know. There's a lot of signs that say dead buck, and then there's the evidence that I found that says that buck is just happily wandering around, not even knowing what the heck just happened, so... <laughs> I don't know what to make of it. Danny's almost here. Hopefully he's just laying in a bush right there. I feel like it's gotta get, it's, it has to have some lung in there. Yeah. I feel like it was a good hit. It was a little high. I think what happened is that you went through his back here, came out under his armpit, and then when he went to run, he broke I the think, arrow. I think it probably caught sternum. Cut the spine. I don't think it caught the spine. I think it caught the sternum in the chest, like as it came through, and that's probably what slowed it down. Because you can see on that. the you can see on the edge of the blade, like it definitely hit some bone. So basically, I was in that tree, all the way all the way up there, 
like where that branch comes at, yeah, right up there. Jeez. And like he came out, he got to about right here, and he was like just staring straight at me. And then he kept walking. And then this bush right here, that's why I was waiting for him to get his head behind. And he got to like right here, and his head was behind it, and I drew up. And then he just like stared at me through the bush. Like he was just like looking right at me, right through the bush. And then he like turned, and then he went like this, and that's when I shot. <laughs> oh, he went that way. I really think he's like 75 yards, something like that, to the left. Right, and um... I mean, I already found some blood, so this is about where I just went straight out that way to get, get off. Blood. Really? Okay, good. Right there. Oh yeah. But he seems like he's walking this little... Yeah, he's walking this trail. Alright, this is where we gotta pay attention because there's a crossroad here. Yeah. He could have went that way. There's a trail here. So I think this might have been where I walked straight out there. Alright, go ahead. Get on up there. Make sure we run off of us. Oh my god. Oh, that is not the buck I thought it was. Oh my god, that arrow went in. That went in so far back. Shit, is he 10 inches? <laughs> Don't start that shit. Well, let me put this in the night vision. I think he is. We're going on night vision mode. Ah. Oh, there goes the, the nerves. That is not the buck I thought it was. Oh. Yeah, that's 10 inches. It's 10, right? It should be 10. Dude, your first uh, archery buck. This is my How first archery buck. Sounds like you're pooping your pants. A little bit. <laughs> Mostly, I'm just like... Is he 10 inches? Okay, so... So that's totally different than what I thought it did. I thought it went in way further forward. It kind of looked that way, but it's so deceiving. I know, because the arrow's still dipping. Yeah. And it's going away from you. So, it actually wasn't a bad shot. Nope. You didn't go far at all. What, like 80 yards? I, yeah, maybe. We'll call Eight. it. We'll call it twenty. <laughs> didn't go twenty. It didn't go twenty. <laughs> Holy crap! There you go, man. You My first it. archery buck. I just finished processing that buck and uh well you guys could probably tell when we found the buck that i was pretty surprised to see which buck it was because i i made a mistake i'll, I'll be the first to admit um uh, i made a mistake when i shot that buck um and you know what that's what this channel is all about it's real life um the mistake that i made was when i saw it walk out I, I thought I had a good I, I thought I knew which bucks were in the area um, and one of those bucks was a six point and that was the only buck in the area that would have had a fork up top because the other bucks were eight points so they would have had three up top so when I saw the buck come in I, I was looking at it I saw the rack I saw that it had a fork up top and I was like oh that's the six point and you know one of the rules we always try to teach ourselves is like once you know you're gonna shoot don't look at the rack and I never looked at the rack again after that. Uh, so I didn't even realize uh, that I was shooting that little buck. Um, but uh, luckily we got there, um, put the tape on it and it measured out to 10 inches on the dot. Like it, it was just barely legal. Um, you know, if, if I had gotten a better look at the antlers I probably wouldn't have shot it, but 
uh, it is what it is. It's legal. It's meat in the freezer, um, and I'm happy about it. So um, I'm glad everything worked out. But a little little lesson learned there. Um, I need to make sure uh, that uh, even if I think I know which buck I'm shooting at, get a good look at the antlers and and make sure in the moment uh, that it is in fact a legal buck because that would have really sucked if it wasn't. Anyway, um, I hope you guys enjoyed that episode. Uh, I sure did. It was it was an awesome hunt. Uh, that was kind of like the first time I've, I've killed a buck or killed a, a deer or anything really like over the water. Um, it was pretty cool hearing that deer walking in from like hundreds of yards away. Um, you know, and as I mentioned, like when I shot it, I I was basically getting down. I, I'd already packed up everything. You can tell when I'm when I'm shooting the deer, you can see my quivers already on my bow. I was ready to, you know, take the arrow off my bow, put it in the quiver, and send it down to the base of the tree. Um, and that buck came walking out at the very last minutes of, of shooting light. So, uh, pretty cool experience. Um, and uh, I'm actually getting ready to head out right now. Uh, so hopefully next week we'll have another episode of something else that I killed because uh, I'm heading to an awesome piece of public land that uh, that has some real nice bucks on it. So we'll catch you guys next week. And uh, in the meantime, go check out our merch store. You can find it at www.swampandstompllc.com. You can find our high pine camo there. It's freaking sweet. It's awesome for hunting in Florida. It's super lightweight, super comfortable. Um, so go check it out. And... Uh, that's all I got for you guys. Peace out.